The following podcast is brought to you by Pro Wrestling Connect, Australia's newest choice for event management and brand development specialising in pro wrestling. He would have copped that so much as a kid too. They would have called him Moretti Spaghetti. 100% as a, as a uh, in pre- primary school and stuff, he would have got that name. I, I got s- the stupid stuff like, Camera Cameron. I'm like, eh, it's, it's not very smart. He would have got Moretti Spaghetti for sure. Moretti Spaghetti. I didn't have one. I was, uh, actually, my middle name is Casey, so I went by Casey. Oh, so Casey. I had, like a spacey Casey, but that's kind of well, fitting, it's, actually. So that well, as well, like, you think me. about, like, the time that you would have been growing up. So when were you, like, what sort of years were you in primary school? I guess the late 80s, yes, I was born in 81, so... Ninja Turtles would have oh, been... Oh, absolutely. Well, yeah, Casey, um, Casey Jones. Yeah. What, what Casey Jones. But he's cool, that's a good Yeah, name. exactly. I'm down with and, then, and then as well, like, under siege, Casey Ryback, Steven Seagal, I mean, whoa... Whoa! Whoa! Whoa. Whoa. That's like that's badass, man. That's like the two Casey's. I'm like, yeah, I, I was rocking it, so I was actually pretty cool. Yeah, no, you're pretty rad. I, and then Lawrence is like Lorenzo, Larry. It's not. I mean, I love Larry, but yeah, yeah it's very, very silly serial killer. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Cameron. <laughs> you're welcome. Please just have me. We are at the new hoose, the new house of free fighting. We have spent hours and hours and days and days and months of travel moving tirelessly to into the new hoose. I knew it was serious when you guys brought in the camels, like the last little bit. We yeah. The packed camels um, and the donkey. It was like, That's I'm it. sorry about your Sherpa, by the way. I mean, that, whew, that was unfortunate. Unfortunate. So we probably should actually mention the new hoose is actually around the corner from the old hoose. You literally pass it on the way into where you would go to our old hoose. So it is now on a main road. It is just such a better place. We're actually upstairs in an office right now. There's offices downstairs with the gym and everything set up. There's insulation. Ah, look at us moving into modern times. It's, yeah, it's, it's a really, really good setup. It's very nice. It's very organized right now. It's very clean. You know, you don't notice all the clutter. It's um, it just come in. It's very well maintained. And I think that what I like about our office is if you look out to our right, there's a window and you can see the ring. Yeah. So I want to make a VIP suite lounge. We well, can sell out to this our is very int- important listeners out there. This is intended to be management's office, so Hoffman's office. We and that window is actually going to be his shouting window, where he opens it up and shouts at us. I mean, to be fair, he's going to be in the gym most of the time anyway, so it doesn't really matter. But yeah, it's it's cool. Like the, the can, new can you was- imitate Hoff shouting? And for those for the fans who kind of want that experience of being yelled at by Hoff, how, how would that go down? The f- are you doing? That's pretty much it. <laughs> All right. That was an inside Hoff's brain. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's, pretty much, that's pretty much what we get yelled at for. No, no, it's, he, he doesn't yell at us that often. And if, never mind, he's going to beat me when he hears this. <laughs> All right, let's get to uh, some matches. But before we get to the matches, let's remind all our audience out there that we now are live on... Ovo. Ovo. So, so the weekend just gone was our first time being live on Ovo at our Central Coast show. It was a fantastic night. It was uh, everything. It went off really well. There was a lot of big surprises. The, the return of Jester as well. Return of Tali coming back. Steph Delando was there. The Babes. So Ashton Munro and Harley Wonderland versus the Velocities. Jude London and uh, Matt Diamond. You had Carter Deems and Jack Bonza. You had Headhunter Rig and the fan favorite Tyson Reed versus Conco and the Fudge. It's just, oh, it's just a phenomenal card. Adam Hoffman and Jimmy Townsend, as well. Like just so many. And, so many. and on our level, we had a monitor. Yeah, was very professional. Really? Although brought the goods. For yeah, hundred percent. So that, that was really exciting. Well, they told us we we're going to film us, and I practically shit myself. Because I, I, there's a reason why we're doing an audio-only podcast for now. For now. <laughs> for, now for now. For now. Big things are coming. <laughs> it's like, oh, yeah, we're going to film you for a little bit. I'm like, no. Let me put on a mask. El Huncho, el comentito. 
<laughs> in Mexico, Spaniaro. And I was going to be the mask commentator for <laughs> at least 30 seconds a night. I was actually going to encourage you to put a shark on before the mask, but... Uh, yeah, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, yeah. I'll put a shirt on before I put pants on. Yeah, fair yeah. enough. We have a desk. So, so. We are on Ovo Play now, so you can check us out. You can rewatch the matches. Though. And uh, if, you're not, if you can't make it to Club Charlestown this Saturday, the 13th, you can watch it on Ovo Play for the low, low price of five ninety nine. Is it really that cheap? It's that cheap, man. Wow. Like Sign cheap. up and just, the money comes out. Don't yeah, even notice it. Um, yeah, it's it's really phenomenal. And so on the night, and as we mentioned on the commentary, if you guys watched it, uh, as we mentioned in the commentary, we're actually getting like photos and Snapchats and stuff like that from other guys. Like there was people backstage watching it at the show, watching it on the stream while at the show, showception. But then also guys in other shows around the country, I was getting Snapchats and videos and messages and stuff from them, of them watching it live while they were at their other shows. So other promotions in the country were watching us live on OVO. I mean, it's, but it's just so weird to think. Like, right now, you can watch Australian wrestling anywhere in the country, anywhere in the planet, live. Like, Aussie wrestling. Like, guys that, you know, for me, it, it's guys like, you know, a lot of them are my best mates. Like, some of my best friends. And I can just sit there and I'm like, I can go overseas and be just, I could watch it from anywhere. I could watch it from my hotel room. Hey, everybody else, you other people in a hostel or wherever I am, five-star hotel or I don't know, in the back of a dumpster, just sign up, five ninety nine. Watch my friends beat the hell out of each other yeah, it's very, for your entertainment. It's very uh, Romanesque. It's very gladiator-like. <laughs> uh, it's, it's Rome in the modern times. No, it's very exciting. Yeah, it's so surreal. Uh, it's just one of the things, and it, it's not lost on me. It's not lost on anybody, especially people who've been around for quite a long time. What's happening with Aussie wrestling right now? Again, like we harp on it all the time, but we cannot stress to you just how crazy it is. Uh, I was talking to JT Robinson on Sunday. We were at another, venue, at another show, and it wasn't a, an overly big crowd. It was probably about yeah, what do you reckon, 50 people. 70, um, between 50 and 70 people. I think the capacity in that venue is about 70. Uh, but, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm terrible at guessing crowds. I yeah. would have said 3,000 to 4,000. No, it was about, <laughs> it was about 50, but, 50 to 70, in that range. Yeah, yeah somewhere range. between 50 and 70. And we kind of made a little, um, little joke about it because it was from the night before at the show that we were at with the amount of people that were there and the night at that show. And then we both just sat there and looked and we're like, well, you think... Like when it when so when I first started so nearly ten years ago it was the number like to get that many people to a show would have been phenomenal like an average crowd for a Sydney show was like thirty and then Newcastle was averaging between like you know just over seventy like seventy to one hundred and twenty people or something like that and then like we sold like two hundred something to an event um, that we ran well, this is a, a form of promotion. And we, we lost our minds when we thought it was like when it was over two hundred people. We we thought it was f- phenomenal. And then now new Newey Pro, you know, two hundred and fifty if we get two hundred and fifty people we're like, Oh what a what a shit show. Like, you know, that's wow, that is such a small crowd. And so you think like, you know, that's only really like it's the space of within a decade, crowd numbers, the the way they've changed and the the attention that's happening with Aussie wrestling. It's just phenomenal. Like, so I we cannot stress just what 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 this is like at the moment. And I also just want to stress something that really impresses me, and I, I think fans do see this. And I and um, is that even though that was a smaller show, it was a very family oriented show. I mean, it was a little kid's birthday party. That you know everybody who was there at Gosford was there again at rest, at the at the other promotion. You know. Yeah. It, was, like, it doesn't matter if you you can wrestle at Max Watts, you can wrestle in Perth, you can wrestle at big arenas in Melbourne. You're still showing up. You're grinding it out. You're going to the small shows, and we're all in there supporting wrestling at the moment. And that's the thing, and a lot of these guys realize it, and people sort of I don't realize I mean, if you follow them on their social medias, you'll generally see where they are, and they're popping up all over the place. Yeah, there is their Max Watts shows, which are huge, and then the next night you're in a community hall. It's freezing cold, and you know, you're getting paid with a sausage and a handshake, stuff like that. Absolutely. It's good sausages, by the way. Yeah, they were good. I had uh, about three of them. I was yeah. starving. That um, 
I'm not by no means are we dissing these promotions at all. Oh, I love uh, them. Yeah, I, actually, I have an absolute hoot at them. But um, <clears throat> Newey Pro will always be my home, and you know, it's it is is fantastic. It's just different styles of promotion. Yeah, Newey Pro is our home ground, and it will always be our home ground. And speaking of our home ground, we're going to be at our home ground this Saturday, Club Charlestown. Yes, this is number eighty, I believe. Go number ahead. eighty again. Another thing, like you know, who'd have thought when this all started? I remember when when Newey Pro was first being talked about, and now we're at number 80 like it's just a, again it's phenomenal like just just what's happening that it can be around for 80 shows yeah, and still they, be they're big enough to have a commentating team now yeah exactly that but much so we have offices offices with but, chairs yeah we have chairs and cup holders not near us no. but yeah you think about like you know, I, you know, I was talking to Hoff the other day and I was like hey remember when we started training just in a um, Shortland Primary School Hall now we're you know fitting out the, uh, we're, we're moving the gym not not just the the whole hoose but like you know we have a hoose that has a full gym most of us don't even bother going to a regular gym anymore because we have a, a full gym here and then like we have the offices we have everything like that it's just it's crazy to think that you know we went from training on carpet and camping jigsaws to having an entire building on a, a main road like it's just yeah <laughs> and it's only getting bigger well yeah and that's the thing it's getting bigger and better and i can i'll encourage anybody who's listening the tryouts come along this is this isn't just a spook for the tryouts september 2nd september 2nd uh, come along come to the tryouts become a part of the family it is a family 100 percent. like wrestling will take over your life but in a good way, you will always have your friend. Like there will, there will, there's, there's friends that I made, even when I dropped out of wrestling for quite a while, I still saw some of these people every day. I, well, not every day, sorry. Like every week, at least once a week, I would see people, see friends I made from wrestling at least once a week. And yeah, it's, I, I cannot stress just how good it can be for you. Promotional consideration paid for by the following. This month, we are sponsored by Grapple, a fantastic new wrestling app available on iOS and Google Play completely for free, where you can rate all the matches that you watch in WWE, Impact Wrestling, New Japan Pro Wrestling, all across the world. And we are even getting Australian wrestling involved in the Grapple app rating system as well, starting with PWA Pro Wrestling Australia. Uh, their green label event from the other week is up there. The black label event, All Eyes on Troy, is up there. And the last two years of events, at least, are up on Grapple right now for you to rate so that people can get around our Aussie wrestling and see that we are just as good as anywhere else in the world. Basically, Grapple is a Rotten Tomatoes for wrestling. Now we all get a say. It is the democratization of match rating systems for pro wrestling. It's amazing. So uh, I get a say. You get a say. Uh, You can follow me on there. At Greg Unchained, you can follow uh, Big Boy Mikey at B plus underscore Big Boy. At Mr. Mysterious is on there. At Danders is on there. At Jay is on there. We're all on there rating the matches that we watch. Uh, So follow us. We'll follow you back. Let's build this community and get uh, as many Australian wrestling fans onto the Grapple app as we can. You can download it right now. It has over 30,000 matches on there going back to 1985. 15 promotions around the world. There's so much to do on the Grapple app. It's a great little community, so get around it. It's Grapple, G-R-A-P-P-L dot C-O, and uh, it's for free on, on App Store and Google Play. Get around it. Hey, everyone. Just want to take a second to tell you about one of our new sponsors, Outbreak Nutrition. Outbreak Nutrition are creating supplements for survival, sharper minds, quicker reflexes, all the energy you need to take your performance to the next level, whether that be on the field, in the gym, On the gaming field, that's right, they have specifically designed gaming supplements as well to help you focus on those late night sessions. They even sell coffee, you guys, at Outbreak Nutrition. You can get coffee pods, you can get coffee beans, you can get supplements for the bedroom as well if you want to enhance your performance there. These are performance enhancing supplements for every aspect of your life, specifically designed by gamers for gamers to stay fit and healthy in the gym, to stay sharp and focused on the game and to dominate in all areas of life. So check out OutbreakNutrition.com, and for being a listener of our podcast, they will give you 10% off your order when you enter the code B+. That is B-P-L-U-S at checkout. So make sure if you want to stay on top of your game, if you 
want to take your performance to the next level, OutbreakNutrition.com, enter the code B plus at checkout. Hey guys, just a reminder, if you want to hear all of these wonderful B Plus podcast episodes completely ad-free, make sure you head over to Patreon or Podbean, where we are the featured podcast this week. You can subscribe for as little as a dollar a month, up to $10 a month, where anything you want to help us with, it really helps out. It's going to help us grow the site. It's going to help us redesign some things. And everything that we get through this and through the advertising as well is all going straight back into the podcast so that we can get Aussie Graps out there for the rest of the world to hear about, for the rest of the world to see, so we can grow this mission of watch global, support local, and build indie wrestling. So if you want to be a part of that and get some really cool rewards like call-in shows, bonus episodes, ad-free like I mentioned, then head over to patreon.com slash the B plus and subscribe today. Anyway, yes. now. now let's get to the matches. Now we have the, the big match. Well, the big match that's, you know, on the posters and everybody's talking about is Headhunter Riggs' list. The list. The list on his way to the top. And next up is the Wiley Ways of Mick Moretti. Yeah, the Rap Scallion. So, Headhunter Riggs so far, he's knocked off the first ever champion, J-Law. He's knocked off the biggest ever champion, Massive Q. He's knocked off the most decorated champion, Jack Bonza. Now he's got... Craziest? It's the most disturbed, Mick Moretti. Uh, the most unpredictable. I think that's the big thing. The, the guy is a, he's an X Factor. You don't know what you're going to get from him. He's an enigma. What You don't know what you're going to get with him. And he can do pretty much anything. He's, I mean, he's just been announced for PWG, I believe. Yeah, um, the Bowler or something in yeah, Los Angeles? Yeah, Battle of Los Angeles. So he just got just got announced for that. And we also, what happened last year, Robbie Eagles was in it. And then now Robbie Eagles is in New Japan. Mick Moretti's has been announced for Bowler. Oh, and also... He had that uh, match with Bonza that was at the, yeah, was well, the Southern Showdown. Thing? Yeah, well, um, oh, and Jonah, Jonah Rock last year was in Bowler. And then now this time, this year... He is no longer under the name Jonah Rock, but he's in the WWE. I mean, that's, that has to say something. Like, yeah. where are these... Oh, he's competing in Bowler. There's a potential that... So th- this is going to be a huge thing, and th- that's how good Mick Moretti is. It's also saying to our fans out there that it might not be too much longer where you can see these guys so up close yeah. and intimate and talk to them after events. And then... Exactly, exactly. And, and 100% that's a thing. But also... This would be a good test to show you just how good Headhunter Rig is. How Headhunter Rig will a- attempt to match it with Mick Moretti. I know I have no doubt he will do very, very well. I know Headhunter Rig quite well. I've seen him a lot. He's down there in the ring right now. Yeah, he's uh, working, so... He, he's busting his ass, and this guy do not sleep on him, and I don't think anybody is. He's everywhere you go. He gets a huge pop when he comes out. He's He is entertaining. He's exciting he's exhilarating he's just yeah this when we, when we were talking about it the other day uh we we're talking about these matches and i was like i have i'm just looking forward to this one so much as soon as like the idea got thrown around for him or you know when he was going through the list and when he crossed off jack bonza and mick moretti was next i was like this is going to be bonkers he's gonna be an insane. insane match i speaking of insane matches or exciting matches the next one so Carter Deems and Ricky South, who competed against each other at our last show at Charlestown in what was, again, phenomenal, exciting match. They, after their match, they got attacked by Will Kiedis and Sam Osborne, the Kelly gang, well, new Kelly gang. And so now they've taken it on their own, uh, onto their own shoulders to get revenge against the Kelly gang. So you had Hunter Rig actually came out and made the save, try to help them out. It's Carter Deems, they're the headhunters. But, uh, yeah, Ricky South and Carter Deems, they want to take it upon themselves to dish out their own revenge against the Kelly gang. And as we saw, the, the match that the Carter Deems and Ricky South had was just absolutely amazing. I wish we were live on OVO for that one because that internationally, that needs to be seen internationally, just how good that was. But then we get a chance to see him against Will, Ke- uh, Will Kiedis and Sam Osborne. Again, we said do not sleep on Headhunter Rig. Do not sleep on these guys as well. Entertaining as hell. Like Will Kiedis does not get enough recognition for how good he is. That, actually. He, he's, he's kind of almost... 
not to be mean on him. I don't want to say he's an afterthought, but he's not. He's yeah. not kind of build at a, at a he, big he level, is. and he should be. So w- with the Kelly gang, it's always the leader, and then them, like um, Brad Alexander and Will Keaton. Just sort of get just the. But actually, uh, two weeks ago there was a match. So Will Keaton and Brad Alexander versus Carter Deems and Headhunter Rig, and it was phenomenal. Go check out their social medias. Check out the highlights and stuff from it. It was amazing. And so these guys, they are just they're overlooked all the time, but they are entertaining as hell. I mean, they're assholes, just straight up jerks, but they're entertaining jerks. And then there's Sam Osborne. Again, this guy was overseas, tried to, tra- uh, trained at Battle Arts, trained with Santina Morella, and then he's come back, and just the name he's making for himself over here. So now he's leading the Kelly gang. He's been great, really. excited to see him. <laughs> Well, I mean, he's a piece of shit. <laughs> total, total arrogant jerk. But, but he, he's great. He's great to watch again. This is just going to be an exciting match. Um, you know, everybody loves Carter Deems. Everybody loves Ricky South. He's everybody's favorite boyfriend. And then everybody hates Sam Osborne and Will Keaton. So it's going to be great. This... I was trying to think of a tag team name for Carter and Ricky South. I know Carter's really into the NBA. Air Jordans. You could have the Air Flamboyance. I would call a flamboyant boys. Oh, I like that. That's much better. Much mm. better. That's that's where I'll go with it. So that's speaking of flamboyant <laughs> boys. <laughs> we have maybe I think this match will probably um, get maybe one of the biggest reactions from the crowd, and that'll be Bell Pierce versus Tarly, local favorite Tarly. And Bell Pierce's first match back on the main uh, on the Charlestown show, so our main shows since winning the Invictus Gauntlet. Uh, it's going to be interesting to see how she she fares having that time away, but she hasn't she hasn't been um, lazy. She hasn't been just not in a, uh, not active. She she has been competing, just um, hasn't been able to make her way back. But now she is. Uh, so going against Tali and Tali trying to put herself into that title picture. She wants that women's title. She wants Harley Wonderland's belt, but she has to prove herself. And Belle Pierce wants to show that she is worthy of wearing that gauntlet that she's carrying around. Speaking of Belle Pierce and the Invictus gauntlets, the Velocities. They high will be flying velocities. high flying velocities. Invictus gauntlet holders versus the debuting Black Shirt Cool Group. So we saw them interject themselves into the show last uh, last month at Charlestown. Um, so They're know kind what... of all over the place right now. They're making their new pro debut. I've been seeing their promos on Facebook and. Yeah, so it'll be very interesting because I haven't only seen them once or twice, so I haven't really got a good look at them. Yeah, hundred percent. It's going to be it's going to be interesting to see what they do, and especially coming up against the uh, the perennial favorites, the the everybody's favorite tag team, the Velocities. Uh, so this will be a phenomenal match. Um, again, like it's just so many good matches on here. But yeah, and that brings us to another one, one that we're personally invested in. Adam Hoffman versus Tyson Reed. Uh, so they already already duked it out with each other at the TLC match. Adam Hoffman put Tyson Reed over the top rope through a ladder. Um, <laughs> yeah, Tyson Reed, he was, he was bearing the scars from that for a, quite a while. Adam Hoffman lost his title. He's definitely out for revenge. We've seen him in action quite a few times. He's just turned into a straight-out asshole. He's just... He's just out there to hurt people He's now. The meanest man in Nui Pro. That's what he, that's, it's this just, is what he wants to be. Well, that's we saw him. We saw him on the weekend. Two separate shows. Two separate promotions. It's not just Nui Pro. He's just. He's just an asshole. We saw what he was doing to people. He's just. He enjoys hurting people. He's just out there. He's just trying to hurt people. But then he's got Tyson Reed, you know, everyone's favorite lad, who destroyed our table. But yeah, so he's. We actually do have an interview coming up with yeah, Tyson Reed. We talked about this last week. This is a very deep expose with a very popular New York pro wrestler. Uh, with Tyson Reed, who honestly on the social media gets the most uh, pop. As yeah. You say. I mean, people the, love this guy. So the, the match announced with, with Adam Hoffman was the most liked match announcement of New York pro this year. It's beat everything else. Tyson Reed and Adam Hoffman is the most liked. Match announcement in Nui Pro in 2019, and I mean that's phenomenal. Considering Tyson Reed only came on the scene this year, 
you came on scene at a Maitland show at the start of the year, and it was he wasn't even announced to do it. Well, he, yeah, it's just, he, he it's, got called up. Those randomly. new uh, transport security guards just kicked him out of the traces. Yeah, in Gosford. So well, we're, we're at Maitland, and he, he caught the train, and they popped him off, and yeah, happens just, all the time. Yeah. All right. Well, let's get to this interview. Let's. Yeah, looking forward to it. It's gonna be it's gonna be deep. It's uh, very very keen. We've been been ready for this. We said we talked to you guys about it last week. Time to get into it and time to time to see what's inside the mind of Tyson Reed. It's Tyson Reed's time to take this shit over. Tyson Reed is here to shake shit up. <laughs> All right, we, we promised you guys we were going to have a big interview, big expose. We have probably the most popular star in Nui Pro at the moment right now. We have Tyson Reed. So Tyson, we have you here now. We want to ask you everything from uh, what happened, like why did you destroy our table, uh, and also up to your title match that you had with Adam Hoffman and Matt Diamond and Tanner Moe. Uh, what was it like going through the ladder to the outside? What was it like putting people through tables? What's it like the, just the rampage you've been on lately, just how successful you've been in just your meteoric rise this year? Uh, so you know, what's it all been like, and, and how is it? How's it feel? off your mutts oh um righto uh thank you it's Tyson Reed's time to take this shit over Tyson Reed is here to shake shit up (laughs) yeah well uh thanks for that interview Cameron um yep you promised me a full in expose in-depth audio story rich package there yep. but yep. actually i thought that was uh it was really good work i enjoyed it thanks for that i am a journalistic genius tram will be for me i will win pulitzer prize the yeah, pulitzer i will i will win a pulitzer prize for this <sighs> all right quit. i think i quit <laughs> <laughs> well that was uh the podcast for this week hopefully next week we'll have a full interview really yeah, yeah, we we have some interesting ones lined up. We've been talking to some people. And if if you guys like want to hear from anybody in particular, if there's anybody you want to you want us to talk to, if there's anyone you want us to interview again, let us know. Like, drop us comments, send us messages, yeah, whatever. Just uh, get onto it. Uh, let us know. You, we we do this not as much for us, but for you guys. Exactly to get more in touch with Nui Pro. So um, be sure to check, we'll be we'll post this on the Facebook page, Nui Pro Facebook, and uh, be sure to go to Ovo Play. Yeah, come come check us out. You'll eventually see our mugs on there, but then you'll see all the other pretty mugs of on Nui the pretty Pro. Mugs. Yeah, all the pretty mugs. Anyway, pretty we'll mugs. see you at the show this Saturday, July thirteenth at Club Charlestown. Oh yeah.